Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista, this is Hamill, and this is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we're answering a viewer question about the differences in the premium plush, so stay tuned. Sea Rad. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I did a video a couple of years ago, or like a year and a half ago, on how to change the batteries in the premium plush. And a viewer came in on that video the other day and thanked me for making it, but then had an additional question about it. So today I thought I would take a look at that question and answer it for the viewer and for you guys. So Fisher, I'm going to put you to the side because I gotta handle Hamill and all of his little siblings. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So I have Hamill here, who is the original premium plush that I got. He was from the very first release that was in December of 2020. And there was a little bit of backstory with that too. If you missed the video where I actually got him and reviewed him, the very first one, I'll put the link to it right up there for you guys. But he is also the one that I changed the batteries on. And then on that video, Kiro Story, or is it Cairo Story, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, came in and asked this question. Kiro Story said, thanks for the video, have a question though. I found two different models of this, one being HBX33, one being HBD37. Do you happen to know the difference? Well. I'm figuring that was the model number, so I started pulling all of my little premium plush out and looking at their little butt tags. So on their tag here, you can see there is a model number right up top there. And I started looking and writing down, I was like, okay, which ones are the same, which ones are different, and what are the differences in all of these models? Well, Hamill, who is the OG premium plush, his model is an HBD37 slash HBX33. So the original model number was that guy right there. And then the second premium plush that I got is this guy right here. I actually call him Faux Hamill because sometimes in videos, secret guys, sometimes when I'm saying it's Hamill, it's actually this guy because his robe is a lot easier to get on and off and I like Hamill in his everyday clothes sometimes. So sometimes you will see one or both of them in a video. So little faux Hamill here was the second one that I got. And on his tag, his model number is just the HBD37. So looking at these two, if you look at them really closely, you can tell a difference, guys, besides the fact that I have Hamill in some fabulous Build-A-Bear clothes here. But facially, hoping this comes up in camera very well, Hamill has a darker face, and the paint inside his mouth goes from smile to smile, and this one's just a little bit kind of stubbier, but other than that, they are the exact same plush. They both have the feeties, yes, and the bendable legs and they both have the sound box inside. Now both of these models came out in 2020 and they both have the same sounds. We've got the cute little gigglies. I love that giggle sound. And this guy's a little bit louder. And I think that might be due in part to the fact that Hamill's the one where I took the head off and found the voice box and how to change the batteries on him. So I think when I put him back together, I covered his voice box up a little bit more, a little bit more fluff on him than on little faux Hamill here. But otherwise, they are pretty much the same exact model. Then in 2021, Mattel, for some reason, decided to change the cute little giggle sounds. Yeah, aren't those adorable, guys? And give the Grogu dolls a more realistic Grogu sound. So, Faux Hamill, we're going to put you down for a minute and let me grab the next guy so you can see what I'm talking about. My next guy is this little man here. He's on a doll stand. He's the one that you usually see back here in the back of my video. 
He is the one that I got from QVC and he's got these squid that goes onto his face. Unfortunately, while he was up there, the squid fell down and it is back behind a bunch of stuff. So it's staying there until I can actually dig it out. But same doll, same face. Again, color-wise, looking at it, this guy is just a little bit lighter than the original one. But other than that, yeah, I don't know, can you see? Hamill is definitely a darker shade. And when I looked at the model number on his tag, his model is actually an HHL57. So that's definitely a different model number, and I'm wondering that might actually be because he was the QVC exclusive. But he comes with different sounds than Hamill does. Hamill, cute giggles. This guy, more realistic Grogu sounds. <laughs> so, yep, they got rid of the cute little giggle and gave him more kind of sounds from the show. But guys, honestly, I like the giggle one a little bit more. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But that was the squid one. And then I decided to pull a couple more of my other premium plush out. I've got the one that was the Sam's Club exclusive. And that is this guy here who comes holding the little cookie. Yes, this was actually gifted to me by one of our viewers, and I, I adore him. I adore my little cookie monster. But his sounds... <laughs> yep, he's got the newer Grogu sounds. I forgot to mention, on the QVC one, his tag also has a date of 2021 as does little cookie here but little cookies model number is again very weirdly the same as hamels so he is also an hbd 37 slash hbx 33 however he has the 2021 date on his tag and he makes the new sounds color wise He's actually pretty comparable to Hamill. He's got the darker head. He's got a little bit of schmutzies on the back of him. I don't know what happened there, but I'll have to try to get that off. Best thing to clean these guys with is Dawn dish soap. Just very, very gently wipe them down every once in a while so that they don't stain. The vinyl on these guys stains so, so easy, guys. If the Dawn dish soap doesn't work, you can try Magic Eraser, and there's other ways to get the deep, deep stains out, but if you want to keep the original green color, some of those other options can fade that color. So I usually just wipe mine down with Dawn dish soap from time to time, and yep, we call it bath day when all of the little babies get their baths. Did you see Chip the other day when I told him it was bath time? He was not having that, guys. But same model number on these guys and again very very similar in color now the last one was a costco exclusive and he is pretty much different from all of these guys put together other than the face so let me grab archie so you guys can see what i'm talking about guys this is archie Archie was the 2021 Costco exclusive Grogu doll. Now he is a cross between the original premium plush and the original Mattel, which is like Fisher with the beanbag body. Now I have feet on Archie that I got from an Etsy shop. They're just little pants with feeties that go on. But he does not have legs like the other premium plush. He is the beanbag body. This one also did not come with any sounds. It just came with the accessories, the Mythosaur necklace, the soup bowl, the Razor Crest ball, and I think a frog came with him as well. But he makes no sounds, guys. No sounds in Archie at all. And color-wise, looking at him compared to Hamill, He's not as light as some of the others, but he's not as dark as Hamill is. So, yep, there's even a difference on the paint on this guy. 
And of course, looking at his tag, he did have a totally different model number. He is an HCN41. So all kinds of different model numbers for these guys. I, they're super adorable though. I know I have enough, right? But I do have others. I have one that came with a data pad from Shop Disney and I have a couple more of the original ones and a couple more of the new ones because you just can't have enough of the Grogu's, right guys? But Hamill's my OG and I, I adore him so, so very much. But I hope Kiro story, Cairo story, that that answers your question on the difference of the different models as far as changing the batteries go. When you feel inside, it feels like they have the same kind of voice box inside. All of them have the little button in the hands. Yes, the buttons in the hands. Are they funny? <laughs> <laughs> yep, my little giggly dude, the buttons in the hands are apparently funny. But otherwise than that, their heads are all very, very squishy. They all have the bendable, poseable ears. Some of them pose better than others, but you can do all kinds of fun things with the ears on the premium plush. And each one pretty much came with a bag. I don't think any of them... Um, Archie, of course, because he was the Costco hybrid. He did not come with the bag, but all of the other ones did. So difference-wise, they all pretty much look the same. Coloring might be a little bit different. If you want the original sounds and you're looking for one, if you're checking, like scoping out eBay for one, ask them which sounds does it make. Does it do the laughs and giggles or does it do the new Grogu sounds? And I would say ask them for the model number, but as you saw between Hamill and the cookie one, it's the same model number. The best thing to do is ask them what year is it on the tag. A 2020 will have the giggle sounds and then the 2021 will have the new sounds. But yes, I hope that answers your question. And if you have more questions, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll do a video about it. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things or just have some questions, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see ya later. What are you doing in there?